In today's video, I will show you how to use the Spoonacular API. This API offers various API calls, such as searching for recipes, searching for recipes specifically by ingredients, getting random recipes, and so on. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up with Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so you can easily follow along. Once you follow all the steps in this tutorial, we will be able to send a request to Spoonacular API, and we'll get a valid response back. In this specific example, we're searching for recipes that have chicken in them, and they're considered American cuisines. Also, just before we start, I will leave a link in the description and in the comments where you can download the exact Postman collection that I'm using here completely for free so that you can easily start making these API calls yourself. Also, just before we get started, if you do find value from this video, please consider liking and subscribing to help support my channel. To get started, we can go back to the website and just click this button that says start now. Once you're on this page, just sign up or log into your account. I already have an account, so I'll just click login. Once you're on a dashboard, click on profile. And here you should see your API key. Copy this value as we will need it later for making API calls. Now, if we go over to documentation, we can make our first API call. The first API call I will show is the one that I did in the earlier example, and it's gonna be searching for recipes. Looking at the parameters, we can see all the different parameters that this specific API call takes in. From the earlier example, I used these two specific query parameters, but if you scroll down, you can actually see there's like a lot of different query parameters that you can use. To make this API call, all we have to do is go back to the top, just copy the URL that you see here, switch over the postman, create a new request, make sure it says get, paste in the URL. In the query param section, for the first key, just type in API key and make sure you get the capitalization exactly right. And then for the value, just paste in the API key that we copied from earlier. For the next query param, just type in query. And then for the value, just type in whatever like food item you want. I'm just gonna do the one I did in the example, which is chicken. If you want, you can add more query parameters, but these are all the ones I'm just gonna add for now and just hit send. And now you can see we get back a response from the Spoonacular API, listing us a bunch of recipes that have chicken in them. If you only want a specific type of recipe, you can just use the query param that I used earlier, which was cuisine. And in here, I'll just do, do American and hit send. And now you can see all these recipes are gonna be like American recipes. The next API call I wanna show has to do with getting recipe information. If you notice from our results here, this just gives us like an ID, title, image, and image type. However, if you wanted the specific ingredients that you need to make the specific recipe, we can actually make another API call to do that. Going back to documentation, we can just copy the URL just like you see it here. I already made mine here. And the only thing we need to do is make sure to update the API key. In the URL, just make sure to update the value with the recipe ID that you want to get the recipe information for. So based on our previous results, I'm just going to copy this ID here and update it here and then hit send. If we look at the result, we can now see all of the ingredients that we need for this specific recipe, such as like light brown sugar, sugar wings, and so on. The next API call I want to show has to do with getting similar recipes. Looking at the documentation, the only thing we need to pass in is just the ID of the recipe. We can also change the number of results that we get back as well, going from like one to 100. Just like the previous API calls, just copy the URL here, go back to Postman, and just create a new request. I already have mine set up. Make sure to add your API key, and just like before, just update the ID that you have here. So I'll use the ID that we used before, and then just paste it in, and then hit send. Looking at the results, we can now see we get similar recipes with the chicken recipe from earlier. The next API call I want to show you has to do with searching recipes by ingredient. So this API call can be really useful if you just have a limited amount of ingredients left in your pantry and you're trying to figure out what to cook next. Looking at the parameters, we can just pass in one that's called ingredients and it's just a comma separated list of ingredients. We can also pass a number, which is like the maximum number of recipes to return as well as like limit license ranking and ignore pantry if we want to do that. Just like before, just copy the URL here, switch over the postman, create a new request, and just make sure to update the API key, and then add a query parameter called ingredients, and just add the ingredients that you want. In this example, I'm doing apples, flour, and sugar. And for the number, I'm just returning two recipes back, and I'll just hit send. We can now see all the results that we get back from the API call. For the last API call I want to show, it's going to be searching for ingredients based on nutrition. This API call will only return recipes based on the parameters that you pass in. For example, you could look for recipes that have like a minimum protein of let's say like 10 grams, but a max calorie of only 800. Just like before, just copy the URL up here, create a get request, make sure to add your API key, then pass in the query parameters you want. In this example, I just did min carbs 10, max carbs 50, and then the number to return only back two recipes. Now I'll hit send. And we can see in the results, based on the criteria that I passed in, both of these recipes listed here will fit all like the nutrition requirements. And that is the end of the Spoonacular API tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.